Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by The Last, joined by Sam Jones via Zoom. Sam, literally an instant reaction with what we're 20 minutes after seeing the scorecards from Josh Taylor's win over Jack Catswell. Just your initial thoughts as you sit there right now having watched that fight. Oscar, honestly, I needed I needed a few a few minutes. We were speaking a minute ago when we were on WhatsApp. I needed a few minutes to like gather my thoughts on that. Like I have to be very, very careful, like how I, how I word things and what what I can say here because I've, I, I don't want to get into I don't want to get into to, to, to trouble. And, but Oscar, on my life, on my life, I felt like crying for for Catchell then. I felt like it's it is if not it's one of if not the worst decisions I've ever I've ever seen. What, what did what did the judge get? What did Ian John Lewis give give it? What one fourteen one eleven? Ian John Lewis was one fourteen one eleven Taylor. Victor Laughlin was one thirteen one twelve Taylor, and I think it was Howard Foster was one thirteen one twelve catch. Yeah, um, it can't be brushed under the carpet. It cannot be brushed under the carpet. Something has to be done about this, right? Because. We've seen it time and time again, and you kind of think to yourself, oh, because it's this time, because it's like for the undisputed belts. No, it shouldn't be happening at all, but a fight like that, Sky Sports, and I've not seen one person yet, yeah? even people who I know that like, are big Taylor fans. I'm a big Taylor fan, believe me. I love watching Josh Taylor. He's a fantastic champion. I'm friends with Ben Davison. It's, it's, it's inexcusable. Inexcusable, like genuinely, like, genuinely, my heart sank, and I'm an irrelevant man watching this. Do you know what I mean? I'm an irrelevant person. My heart sank, but I was so confident. I thought they thought that even if the the scores they give the scores kind of close, they can't do this to him. And incre insane, Oscar, insane. It's one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Probably the worst. But my blood's my blood's boiling. Like I'm, it, it, it went from like sadness for him just to anger. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna have to go and delete a load of tweets. That I don't know, but like, but I'm just just anger, like with boxing, like just just with with everything. I just think Jack Catch was weighted. Like a lot of people picked him to get wiped out. I had a feeling. I said it earlier on in the day. I had a feeling he was gonna shock people. With, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I, I picked, I backed him heavily to win because I didn't. I, I thought he was up against it, but I knew he was a talented fighter, Jack. Um, I've seen him spar a couple of times. He's a talented kid. And I thought his talent was going to shock people, which is what I put on. Uh, I actually put it out on Twitter to say that he's going to shock people. And I, I don't know what to say, Oscar. Honestly, like, I don't actually know. I haven't got words to, like, to put into what I've just seen there. Like, well, let, let's what look at it this do? way. There are so many places we can start, right? I want to kind of, maybe from a personal point of view, because I've known him for a while and I know that he's taken on a really tough role at Sky. So a quick word about Ben Shalom, who came on. And by the way, mm. backed the fact, he backed the fact that many of the public and himself as well didn't think the decision was correct. So yeah, uh, we've seen it before, but the fact that he came on, someone who now has a big role at Sky and is fairly inexperienced in that role. And it's taken yeah. quite a lot of has come on camera and said, look, we, not just as the company that he's working for, we in boxing now, and I know we've heard it before, but we need to sort this out. Yeah, listen, I, I saw him come on and listen, Ben's not the, 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 the most brashest in front of a camera, but fair play to him because he did. He came on, he kind of stuck his chest out and said, look, he, he felt embarrassed, but I felt embarrassed as well. I, I feel, I felt, I think everybody... Like you saw Spencer Oliver, even Johnny Nelson. Listen, everybody's prone to making a bit of like a, oh, yeah, I thought it was close to try and not get in trouble kind of thing. But nobody, nobody thought Josh Taylor won that fight. There's just not one person that thought Josh Taylor won that. How can we all be wrong? How can we all be so wrong but two men were, were, got scored it differently? I, I just, I don't know how to... They, they have to, they have to go before a panel. Like the same way I have, I would have to, if I've done something wrong that was opposed to wrong, I have done, I have been before the, the, the board and they have to go there and say why they scored it like that. And there's going to be no real, 
mate, I don't know, Oscar, but I think we should overturn the decision. I'll, I'll look at it this way, and obviously, look, I'm only here to ask overturn questions. overturn the decision. They have to. They have to overturn that is, that is that feasible? Look, I'm only here to ask questions. And I look at, I remember being at Lewis Ritson and Miguel Vasquez, and I'm a big Lewis Ritson fan. I like Lewis. I've got a lot of time. I got told off for that. I got told off for, for, that, oh. for that specific fight. I, I love Lewis Ritson. That was a horrendous, horrendous decision. But that, this one tonight, same level. But the judges from the Lewis Ritz and Miguel Vasquez fight were put in front of a panel. I remember I spoke to Robert Smith in the car park the next day. We was in a bubble, Peterborough. There's only about 40 people in the hotel. Me and Robert Smith, we've done an interview the next day. He told me what was going to happen and they were put before a panel. So I don't know. We can keep talking about this, but do we see the same thing happen again? I, I don't know. Oscar, there has to be. There has to be. Like, your job is to just call it call things you can't do that to kids that have worked their whole life yeah that, that have worked their whole life jack catcher has waited for three years for that night yeah three years he stepped aside for for taylor and ramirez to have an undisputed fight yeah i'm sure he got a bit of step aside money but realistically he wanted to go there and and put on a performance and do what he's done tonight and win the belts because Three years he's waited for that opportunity, and he's he's gone to Josh Taylor's back garden, the super champion. Let's let's not have it right. Josh Taylor's a legitimate, undisputed champion. Nothing to discuss. He's he's an incredible champion. Josh Taylor is. And I'm, listen, listen to me when I say this. I'm a massive fan of him. I love watching Josh we Taylor. Are, yeah. Like he's, are, yeah. he's a great fighter. Probably arguably the best in the. Jack Catchell's gone in there and done a job on him. He's gone there and he's done a job on him. Give him. Oscar, like what? Do, what? Do you, what do you even say? There's no. I can't really. Words like fail me. Like words fail me. They really do. My blood was. I've calmed down a bit now. My blood was boiling. So can you imagine how Jack Hatchell's family feel? Jamie Moore. I felt when I watched Jamie Moore then speak on Sky Sports. I don't know how he held it together. I couldn't hold it together with with a with a with a plate of Chinese on my chest and and a, and eating a packet of fruit pasta a packet of fruit pastels on on my legs as well like a big tray of food and he's sitting there just come out of just come out of the um just come out of the ring and he's got to be put on camera and stuff like, like I don't know how he's held it together there and not said anything like damaging it's just. What do, what do you do? What do you do? I, I think they have to work. They have to think about overturning that decision. They have to. Obviously, you, you, the role you're in, you would have worked closely with the board, more closely than anyone like me would have ever worked, of course. Is overturning a decision, is that feasible? I know, I know you can... I don't, I, don't know what's, and... I, I, I don't know what's feasible. I don't, I don't know if, if, it's, if, it, if you can even do it. All I know is that's what's fair. That's how involved fair. are the board? How involved are the board? Because yes, they've got the judges, but these are world title belts. And if Josh moves up, these are I don't know, like these are world title belts. So how involved? If it was a British maybe, title, w, right? I, maybe. I, I don't know. Like the the, the 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 least Jack Cattrall deserves, right? Is like, do you remember when Charlie Edwards fought Martinez and he got hit on the floor and the, and, and Maurizio Sullivan literally overturned it straight away? The least that that the sanctioning bodies can do for Cattrall is if Taylor moves up like what I think he'll do, is make him mandatory for every single belt. Or it's, I don't, I don't know, I can't, I'm barely thinking straight. I'm just like, he needs, he, Jack Catchell needs justice, genuinely. He needs justice for what just happened there because it's horrendous, absolutely horrendous. I mean, obviously we, the main talking point is going to be the decision, but, um, and I know you've said, Everyone's going to mention how well Jack box, but just kind of a quick segment away from the decision. It's, it's, how it's well bollocks, Jack though, isn't it, Oscar? It's, it's bollocks, though, isn't it? What does it matter? What, what we're saying here, there's a big fat red stain on Jack Catchell's record that shouldn't be there. Do you know what I mean? We can say how well he boxed. I can say where. In fact, Jack Catchell probably think it's, it's fucking patronizing. Oh, you've had you put on a good performance, pat on the back, dust yourself off. You'll have your time. No, that was his time. That was his fucking right, Sam, let, let me ask you this, right? So you've been involved with fighters who at one point would have lost, whether it be a grudge match, a big fight, whatever. Just fighters who've lost, right? Whether they've lost on the back of an unjust decision or not, how much does a blim of approval from the public matter? Because he will I, get he will get public approval. Will that matter? I'm, at I'm all very suggest? fortunate. I, I, I'm very fortunate. I, I was I was when when I was working with S Jam, 
I was only a part of one defeat, and that was when Cody Davis boxed Doom Master Deep. The rest, it's jam of one. So mm-hmm. I've, uh, I've been well, one one or two draws, but I've only one defeat I've been involved in. So I'm looking at case, but like. I'm just looking at it from like a moral standpoint. I'm looking at Jack Catchell and I'm thinking, I want to, I want to literally cry for him. I mean this like wholeheartedly. I want literally, I was sitting there on my so on my sofa, like a fat flipping flipping dope. And I just wanted to cry for him. I wanted to cry for him. How, how, like how you, you, you imagine working that hard. Like boxing's not an easy, not, not a normal sport. Do you know what I mean? Boxing is not a normal sport. And you've sparring all those rounds, waiting three years. Do you know what I mean? Sitting that, do you know what I mean? That waiting, seeing all these big nights happen, all those long runs. I know he's got a young baby, baby daughter as well. I'm sure he spent countless amount of hours away from. He gets his moment and that's what happens. It's wrong. It's so wrong. Well, you say that and it's weird actually because the first show I'd done for IFL was at the Liverpool Olympia three years ago. And I remember speaking to Jack about when he first got mandated. So three years yeah. is a long time in boxing as well because in between, I suppose, He's had to have not meaningless fights, but fights that he kind of. He doesn't want to be involved in. Yeah. yeah, he was, he was having not. fights that he didn't really need. He was just keeping himself ticket. L- let's be honest, he outboxed Josh there. He outboxed him. He outboxed him. And Jack's proven that not just a world class fighter, he's an elite level fighter because Josh Taylor is an elite level champion. Like, it's all going to be down to the fact that, and I knew it'd be like this as soon as like, oh, Josh was probably struggling the way. He probably was, but there the needs to be speaking of how great Jack Catchell performed because he was, he was brilliant. He was brilliant. And I just, I'm sad for Josh Taylor as well, in, in a way, because it's not his fault. That's not, it's not, it's not Ben's fault. It's not Josh's fault. And he will be getting loads of stick because Josh Taylor's been interviewed straight after the fight and he feels like he won. I'm sure Josh Taylor does deep down. I'm sure if Josh Taylor was on a lie detector test now and said, do you think you won that fight? He passed with flying colours when you've just finished the fight. But I think when he watches the fight back, he'll think, fucking hell. Like, like, it, it was... I wouldn't even want to call it lucky. Like it's not even look like he he, ju- he lost the fight, Oscar. He lost that fight. 